Helped along State Route 78 last week, impacting thousands of drivers in the North County. Now Supervisor Jim Desmond is calling on Sandag to make good on past promises to improve the highway. He joins us now via Zoom. Good morning to you, Mr. Desmond. How are you doing today? Hey, good morning, Paul. I'm still dry, so it's okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a good start. Well, then, uh, if I may be so bold as to kind of pick up where you, I think you're going, is back in 2004, we agreed to through taxation to give a bunch of money to Sandag to improve things like State Route 78. Those projects never got around to. So before we give you more money, how about do the things we you promised you were going to do back in 2004? Well, Paul, you stole my thunder, but that, that's exactly <laughs> exactly it. I mean, the Sandag recognized 20 years ago that the, the uh, 78 and other roadways needed needed repair and maintenance, and and uh, and the voters agreed. The voters said, okay, we will give you a half cent sales tax for 40 years. So for 40 years, if you do this, we, we will, con you know, we'll make the uh, Sandeg promise the uh, upgrades. They promise the repairs. And then they it basically in this latest 2021 plan, they took it all out, even though they're still collecting the tax. And now we got sinkholes and things like that that are just completely shutting down, you know, all four lanes of the what the uh, westbound uh, 78. And that, you know, it could get even worse with all the more rains today. So, you know, promises made, their promises have been broken, and then they just took the plans completely out of the out of the new the new 2021 plan, even though we're still stuck with the tax. It's really frustrating. It's that fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. I mean, is, is, yeah. that's kind of, I mean, so uh, is this sinkhole going to help illustrate that, do you think, to people who might be unaware of it? I, I hope so. I mean, this is just, you know, crazy, that, you know, how, how badly this is affecting traffic here in, in North County and on the 78. And hopefully it'll make, you know, people more aware of, of the fact that you're paying for repairs. You've been paying for repairs and they're just not being done. And now they're going to be ignored. And so this is cost and this is going to costing millions and millions of dollars. We don't know how much it's really going to cost, you know, until they get it completely fixed and the rain stop. But it's going to cost millions of dollars. It could have been put into maintenance and repair ahead beforehand. You know, a little bit of maintenance goes a long ways. Uh, it, it, it went until you, you know, wait for the catastrophe to happen. And then you're, you're, you're paying a lot, lot more. So unfortunately, this is you know kind of penny uh, petty foolish or what is whatever it is petty pelly pound or something foolish, but this is not doing the right thing in the right order, and why and they're still taxing us uh, while we go along. Petty wise pound foolish, I believe is the <laughs> same. But uh, but it begs the question, if you know, let's we get taxed through the teeth here. If the roads were pristine, I could almost. At least you could point to something, but we have the worst of both situations. We get taxed through the teeth, and we have real cruddy roads. So I mean, it really raises uh, eyebrows as to, you, to our leadership, does it not? Well, absolutely, and, and you're, we're paying the tax in, in so many ways, and the registration fees, and at, at the pump. Now they want the new mileage tax. And, and SB1 was a bill that went through. There was another tax on us that we we just continue. And they all they all promise roads. Oh, if you if you give us this money, we'll we'll give you roads. They know most of the people will use the roads. They know most of the people will vote for something that if it says it's going to fix the roads, but they don't do it. It's it's a shell game. You know, they they may put a minute amount a minute amount of that 165 billion in this new 2021 uh, plan. A small, small amount is for is for road maintenance. It's not even enough for maintenance. It's not enough for what we need. And it is, like you said, this is breaking the promises they made to the voters. And then I know they're going to come to the voters again, and they're hoping the voters have short memories, and they're just going to say, ah, well, we forgot about that half-cent sales tax we're still paying, and they'll just vote, it, vote another one in again. That's what they're counting on is people's ignorance. And we got to make people aware that they're already paying for these things and do not give them another cent until they, they keep the promises of the past. This is a purely hypothetical, and I, I hate to put you on the spot, but if someone said, hey, we're going to do the, 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 the road user fee or whatever, or tollways, but the roads would end up being pristine, would, would, you, would you reach that compromise, or, is, or are you still so vehemently against the mileage I, I, tax? It's unfortunately, it, unfortunately, it got to the point of, of it's about trust at, at this point in time. Quite frankly, there was a measure back in 2016, it was called Measure A, and it, it, it was supposed to put the projects that were not done yet ahead of the line, the 78, the 67, the 52, all of those roadways were gonna be done first, 
and it went to the public. And unfortunately, you know, there was many groups that fought this uh, here locally in San Diego County, and it didn't get the votes it, it needed. So we did come to a compromise where, you know, when we said, OK, well, if, if we move ahead forward with another tax, all of these road projects have to go to the head of the line. And unfortunately, the environmental groups and others that, you know, just want to tax you out of your car and, and, and into mass transit, they won the day because we didn't get the two thirds votes on, on that. So I have done that in the past with that compromise. But unfortunately, at this point in time, I don't trust them. Uh, at the end of the day, this is all about environmentalism. And uh, and, and, and some, a lot of these folks, are, even if you were to vote differently, you, you, you still have these unelected people in a lot of these powerful positions. I don't know how you address that, Mr. Desmond. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I'm all for clean environment is, as well. I just think that the, the, the way we get there is how we differ. Um, you know, I want clean air. I want clean water. Everybody wants that. And I'm, a, I'm fine with cleaning up the greenhouse gases. But we, I think we need to approach that from a different perspective. And we need to look into the future. We need to, you know, look, look into making our roadways and the behavior that people are already doing and making it more and making it cleaner and more efficient. So we can have maybe technology lanes, or we have cars, you know, that that you know that that don't use use gasoline. We make the bigger push towards that, and we make we make it cleaner. I always go back to smog days. Remember, there used to be smog days. Now we have twice or maybe three times as many cars on the road as we did when we had smog days, and they had told people to stay inside. It's because technology, the technology of the engines, taking the lead out of the gas. We've done it that way in the past. They're trying to tax us back into back into the into the past. They're trying to tax us into buses and trains and trolleys, which are so expensive. They take so long. Technology is going to evolve. We need to embrace that technology in vehicles and, and, and making that cleaner the behavior that people are already doing instead of trying to change their behavior. Mr. Desmond, you get the last word. Thank you very much, sir. Thank and, you. And stay dry today.